So here we are at Universal Endless Summer Resort at Dockside Inn and Suite. So this is where uh, my family and I are going to be staying for um, the next following days as we go visit Universal Orlando Resort and Disney. So yeah, this is the front area. So check out my video. I'm going to show you the inside of the hotel. Um, it's an amenities and and perks. So if you're planning to stay here, stay tuned. See ya! Hello everybody. So we just had a quick bite. Um, we finally made it here at Dockside Inn and Suites in um, Universal Orlando Endless Summer Resort. And we're going to be staying here for five days. Um, explore Universal Orlando and then maybe visit um, Disney World. So we're kind of excited. I'm actually very excited although it may not look like I am but I'm just tired and thrilled. Um, so we just checked in and um, printed our park tickets so that we're ready for our day tomorrow and the next um, following day. So yeah. Okay guys, let's take a tour of Dockside Inn. Um, and we are now at the front entrance of Tower 1. Um, Dockside Inn has two towers or two buildings, um, one and two. And Tower 2 is actually just right beside the building. So this is the lobby on your right is where you check in. And vacation planning area is where you grab your park tickets or your ex express entry pass. Um, so yeah. And of course, luckily there's a Starbucks for some good coffee. Um, it's not actually peak season, but I think this place is always busy anyway. Um, let's go check out um, the place. So here is like the bar lounge, sunset lounge, where if you want to spend the rest of your afternoon, if you don't feel like going to the park yet, and this is actually the food court area and they call this um, the pear. Of course, it has a tropical theme because it's Surfside Inn originally, but this is Dockside Inn where we are staying. Now, here at the pear, if you don't feel like going out um, to eat outside, um, you can actually um, come and visit this um, food court and you will have a lot of options when it comes to food. So they have kind of like a grab and go, ready to go um, meal from fruits, vegetables, sandwiches, and salads. But if you wanted some warm meals, they actually have a variety of different kinds. So you can have chicken waffles, which is actually my kids' favorite. Um, pizza, burgers, and fries. Um, I think they have some fish and chips kind of like too. Um, so yeah, and salads and meats. So you have um, a lot of options to pick from if you don't feel like going out to eat. If you're too tired, too exhausted from you know, spending the entire day at the park. Um, yeah, this is a good option. There's some parfaits, fresh fruits, and donuts, pastries, coffee. So yeah. And I think, um, I'm not sure, I don't think they are open 24 seven, but um, they're open until midnight if you needed a quick bite or a grab and go and take it to your room. Um, so this is another um, way. And we are heading to our room actually. Tower 2 is on that side and that's the front lobby right there. So we are actually staying on the 7th floor. And the good thing about um, checking in, because you can actually check in through your mobile phone through the hotel if you want to skip the line. Um, 
you can do that, but um, we opted to like check in with um, um, at the front, and actually it was it it was good that we decided to do that because we got upgraded to a family suite room. So this is the family suite. It's got a table, um, two beds, and there's another room. So basically three beds all in all. Bathroom. I love that there's two sink. We don't have to share into one sink. This is the other room. And yeah, hello Orlando. Okay, let's go check out the pool. Um, on your right is where you're gonna head to the lobby and on your left or my left is where the pool area is and by the way that's the game room so let's go check out the swimming pool area so in order for you to get access um, and swim the pool of course is you need your key card to be able to get in uh, it's not very many people and what I really like about um, their pool is that they have actual sand yes you're right sand anyways this is day three of our stay in Orlando and we just spent the entire day um, at the park um, so it's time to take a cool dip and relax in the pool Okay, so Tower 2 also has its own um, pool area and um, I didn't have a chance to check it but I think um, it is also um, almost identical to Tower 1. So I finally was able to get a chance to use and have a swim in the pool because for two nights in a row they had to close the pool area because of um, lightning and rain and you know unpredictable weather conditions so yeah here we are people here's your see it Okay guys, so that's Dockside Inn and Suites here in Universal Orlando, Florida. We really enjoyed our stay here and I don't really have anything bad to say. The staff are very helpful and accommodating. Um, everything you need is in here. They have the restaurants, Starbucks, um, they have the swimming pool, they have the Sunset Lounge Bar. Um, so yeah, um, and also they have the Universal Studio Store. For your souvenir gift items plus their shuttle buses runs every five or ten minutes so so if you're planning to visit Universal Orlando check out Dockside Inn and I hope you enjoyed this video see you next time this is Sheila Salamat.